In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how you can apply Smart360 to the small holes in your projects. First, navigate to the Shape Library icon. For this demonstration, I will choose a shape that has both small and large holes. After you check in the parameters for your shape, convert the project to CAM. If you zoom in, you will notice that the toolpath for the large hole differs from the toolpath for the small holes. This is because Smart360 is already enabled by default and applied to these small holes. Access the Smart360 settings by clicking the 360 icon and then Plasma Settings. This feature creates high accuracy holes in small cutouts by manipulating torch, kerf, and feed rate settings. You will notice that once I turn Smart360 off, there will be a significant change in the toolpath and lead-ins for the small holes only. Back in the Plasma settings, you can specify the threshold for the hole size that you would like Smart360 to be applied to. This restriction is specified by the ratio factor you input in the parameter hole size less than or equal to sheet thickness factor. Because Smart360 is enabled by default, the feed rate automatically adjusts for small holes and the kerf is automatically set for the feed rate. However, both of these parameters can be manually adjusted in the parameters panel. After checking in these changes, find the break settings icon in the top toolbar where you can adjust the lead in and lead out settings for the breakpoints in your toolpath. In the parameters panel, you can change the lead in and lead out type. However, Smart360 sets the lead-in type to line arc by default. With the overburn parameter, you can set a distance you want the torch to continue through a cut along the same toolpath. This will allow you to ensure a clean cut. With the parameter Turn Off Fab Head Early, the fab head can be turned off at different points during a cut. In the drop-down menu, you can choose Toolpath Completion, where the fab head remains on until the toolpath is done. You can also configure a fab head to be turned off before, after, or when a feature is completed. If you want to change the lead in or lead out parameters for a specific breakpoint only, you can do so by clicking on it rather than accessing the break settings. Here you can also modify the overburn and turn off fab head early parameters. However, these adjustments will only apply to the selected breakpoint. At this point, if you are happy with your project's toolpath, you can bring the file over into CNC and you are ready for cutting.